Hey, Blee Big Blue. Tim from the podcast. Just wanted to come talk to you guys. It's that time of the week where we, you know, do the list of glory, list of shame. Sorry I'm a little late this week, but I've been really contemplating on how I was going to do this. And this video is going to be a lot shorter than usual, and you're going to see why. So we lost 17 nothing to the Titans. I know we barely had any chance at all of making the playoffs, but they were dashed by this game. Not only were they dashed by this game, when our backs are against the wall, the Giants decide they're going to play their worst game of the year. And that's where I have a problem with it. You know what? I don't like seeing my Giants team get bullied. And that's pretty much what they did. They got bullied. But let's, you know, let's try to, try to get into it. I'm going to show you where I'm going, guys. Uh, list of Glory this week. You know who's on the List of Glory this week? No one is on the List of Glory this week. There's no way I'm going to put someone on the List of Glory when we didn't score a point. We didn't score a point in a game that we needed. Like, again, I know it was minimal for us to even have a chance at playoffs. And we didn't even score a point. Derrick Henry pretty much looked like he was playing against his little brothers. And just beating up on him. It, it was disgusting how bad we got bullied in this game. Both sides of the ball. No offense to speak of. You know, what defense was out there. I saw so many missed tackles. It was just insane. And then on top of it, like I said, we get eliminated from the playoff race on top of it. So, you know, that was our season. I guess if there's one positive, uh, we did move up in the draft order. So if you want to put that on a list of glory, go ahead. <laughs> but I refuse to put any one person, not even... Aldrich Rosas is going on the Bliss of Glory this week because guess what? He didn't even score a point. So, list of shame. You think uh, with the list of glory not even being in there, that the list of shame would be uh, easy. And it really is because you know what? You know who's going on the list of shame? The whole damn team is going on the list of shame. Eli. Uh, you were 21 or 44. Fumble, interceptions, you know, whatever. Uh, it's, it seems like if you get touched, you fumble the ball. You can't, you can't throw the ball anymore. And I know all the people that are getting on me in the comments about hating on Eli. I do not hate Eli. Eli is one of my favorite Giants ever. But if you can't watch these games and know his career is over, then I don't know what you're watching. And, you know, Saquon, they bottled you up, and that's what's going to happen. If Eli can't take advantage of when, you know, they're going to just stuff the box, then there's nothing we can do about it. The only one that even had a decent game is Evan Ingram. Had eight catches for 75 yards. I refuse to put him in on the list of glory, and he's, you know, and he's going with everybody on the list of shame. Because you know what? That was garbage stats. And this isn't fantasy football. I don't care about garbage stats. Defense. Learn how to tackle. I've seen you guys play against plenty of good running backs this year. And Derrick Henry made, made him look like he's the best running back in the league. Which he is not. He's just a big back. So as you guys can tell, I'm pretty a little disgusted by this game. But it's... We got a couple, you know, a couple games left. We got the Colts. We got the Cowboys. You know, we're gonna finish out this season. I'm just moving on to the next, and then, you know, I'm looking already into the off season, looking in the draft, see what I want them to do. God knows we'll talk about that on the podcast. We'll break it down as much as you can. Uh, I'm not trying to be negative, guys. Actually, I do see some positives going into. You know, next year, it's just tough to see it after this game. But no matter what, I'm going to still bleed Big Blue. Always.